What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix and welcome to the fastest ways to get your magic level to 99. Some of these methods are very alternative and creative ways to get your magic up, so you won't really see many of these in some other guides. If you do learn something cool today, be sure to leave a like on the video, I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna start the video off with two AFK methods to get your magic up. At only level 4 magic, you unlock the Enchant Bolt spell, and this spell can be used in two ways. Firstly, if you're looking for faster XP rates, you can keep clicking the spell in order to cast it every single game tick. If you're doing some homework or you need to AFK, this spell is great because once you cast it once, it enchants 10 sets of bolts. At higher levels, this spell is a lot better than alking, so if you're one of those people that likes to high alk, definitely look into bolts because they're a lot more AFK and most of the time they're even faster XP as well. I've linked a calculator down below for you to work out which bolts are profitable or which bolts you should do because some of them have ridiculously high GP per XP and you really should check them. At this very moment, Ruby Bolts E are about 4 GP per XP which isn't too bad and Onyx Bolts are only 1.5 GP per XP and they're the fastest ones out of all. Your XP rates can range from 30k an hour for Opal and one ticking Onyx can get you over 300 100k XP per hour. Another very AFK magic training method is String Jewelry, and this is unlocked at level 80 on the Lunar Spellbook. This is actually more AFK than making bolts because you do a full inventory of stringing in only one cast. On average, you can get up to about 150 to 160k XP per hour. However, the cost of this is slightly higher, and using gold amulets, the GP per XP is about 4 coins. When you're casting string jewelry, you should always use a mud battle star. The spell itself uses astral runes, earth runes, and water runes, and earth and water runes are obviously the mixture of mud runes. So you actually do save quite a bit of money using a mud battle star. So that was two fairly AFK methods. Now I have two methods that aren't so AFK, but still require standing at a bank. Using the tan leather spell after you complete the lunar diplomacy quest and the hard fremenic diaries can get you up to 100k magic XP per hour, as well as over 400k GP per hour. You can't use this spell until you've done the hard diary, which is why you don't really see as many players using this spell. In the description, I've linked a calculator for you to work out which hides are the most profitable, and I highly recommend this anyone that's trying to get 99 magic with a profit, because if you were to cast this to level 99, you'd make over 50 mil. At level 86 magic, you unlock the Plank Make spell, and this one actually requires Dream Mentor on top of Lunar Diplomacy. You can get over 160k XP per hour, and it makes creating planks cheaper than it is to go to a sawmill. As of right now, only mahogany planks are profitable, while the other planks will probably cost about 2 GP per XP. The thing about this spell is that you have to click on each plank, and you can cast plank make only every 3 game ticks, so you really have to get your timing right, which I'm sure after doing the spell for a couple of hours, you'll get down perfectly fine. So that's a little bit of a money maker like Tan Leather. I would probably recommend Tan Leather over Plank Make because you will make a lot more money from Tan Leather in the long run, but Plank Make is a little bit faster. The next method I'm showing you guys is Ice Barraging or Bursting. If you have the money, you can spend it on runes for bursting at the Monkey Madness 1 or Monkey Madness 2 monkeys, and you can get up to 350k per hour if you barrage at the Monkey Madness 2 cave. Now, Manacle Monkeys after Monkey Madness 2 give a little bit more XP than the Monkey Madness 1 ones because you receive prayer potions as drops, and that means you don't have to bank ever. Casting Ice Burst will cost you about 3.5 GP per XP, on the way to level 99 magic. So that means it's gonna cost almost 50 mil to get to 99. On the other hand, if you're barraging, it's gonna cost about 5 GP per XP. So that's about 60 to 70 mil to get to 99 magic. Quite frankly, you're a million times better off barraging or bursting Necrails or Dust Devils. I made a video all about this where you can train your magic really, really fast while profiting. 
in that video, I spoke about doing neck rails and dust devils off task. And that's great if you really want to get 99 magic and save some money in the long run, but you're far better off bursting while you're training Slayer. With the Catacombs of Kurend, you can burst a lot of your Slayer tasks now. And then at level 96, when you unlock Smoke Devils, they give some of the best magic XP in the game. So if you get up to about level 80 magic, you can most likely get your level to 99 just from training Slayer and bursting the tasks that you can. This is a lot more efficient because you'll get the fastest possible Slayer XP per hour as well. On the screen right now, I put a list of all the burstable monsters and the burstable Slayer tasks. Some of these give a lot less XP per hour and it all depends on how many spawn and how many monsters there are. But in the long run, it's actually more efficient to train your magic this way since you do get Slayer XP at the same time. The next few methods are stunning, alking, cursing, and all that good stuff on the regular spellbook. Now casting stun alk is a very common way to train your magic. You unlock stun at level 8 and you can get up to 170 to 180k XP per hour from splashing stun and alking on a monster like the Zami Wizard, Skeletons in the Wilderness, or Rats in Lumbi. But a method that not so many people really know about is that you can do this while you're splashing. And this is what I did personally on my pure to train my magic because it turned out to be very convenient for me. Basically, what you need are the runes for alking, some curses if you want to use them, stun if you have the level and you also want to bring a fire spell that you're willing to spend your money on. So it's much the same as just splashing on a Zami wizard or the skeletons, except whenever I want to go AFK, or in my case, if I want to be editing a video, I can be stun alking while I'm at the computer, and then when I need to AFK, I can switch my auto retaliate on and then leave my account there, and it'll keep splashing and getting magic XP for about 20 minutes until you're logged out. Just splashing normally takes such a long time time to get to 99 magic and honestly it's barely worth the cost. If you cast like 10 barrages or bursts you've already covered a full hour of XP from splashing. At level 87 slayer you unlock Kraken and what's so good about Kraken is you can splash on him while giving damage endlessly. So you can sit there in your best magic gear while attacking Kraken and you'll get XP based on what you should have hit. But since he's underwater, he's not gonna attack you, lose any hit points or retaliate. You don't really need curses or stuns here because the amount of XP you get for hitting him is usually gonna be more than casting stun. If you really just can't resist the urge to splash your way to 99 magic, definitely unlock Kraken first because it'll literally speed it up by about 10 times. Now for the final magic method that I have for this video. This is debatably the fastest way to get to 99 magic and the reason for that is because this method should use no efficient hours at all. The method I'm talking about is passive magic training. There's a few spells out there like imbuing, alking, where you can keep a stack in your inventory and just cast the spell whenever you want. Pairing these spells with skills that have some running involved, you can train your magic in between laps of agility or in between runecrafting runs, and you literally don't impair your XP per hour of the other skill at all. You gain magic XP and the regular XP in the skill, so if you're planning to go for max over a really long period of time, you can completely forget about magic and just remember to train it while you're doing one of these skills that are on the screen. All of these skills make it possible to train magic magic in between without losing any game time. And if you get into that habit of training magic while you're doing other skills, you're gonna spend literally no time getting 99 magic and it'll just happen as you're getting 99s in other skills. The magic imbue spell works the best because it only requires runes. You don't need any secondary items in order to cast the spell. My favorite place to train magic passively would have to be when I'm training agility. Since I'm not a huge fan of agility, if I alk in between each obstacle, it not only keeps me occupied, but I'm also getting my magic up while barely realizing. So that's it guys, that's the fastest ways to get your magic level to 99 in old school. I've got some pretty exciting stuff I want to tell you guys about. I've been working pretty hard on Theoatrix.net and it's almost finished. So over the next few weeks and months, I'll be integrating a lot of new stuff there, like a lot of guides and calculators that I can tailor specifically towards my videos. For example, I've started working on a plugin that lets you select a gear setup and your range level and it tells you whether you should be using Elite Void, Void, Carols or Armadil in different ranged training scenarios. I have a lot of 
pretty cool ideas like that one. So if you'd like to see them come to life, the link to my website, theoatrix.net, is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.